Hey guys, it is Liberty here from Spirit Move Ministries. And as promised, I am going to talk about numbers. That's what this video is, is what's with all the numbers that people are constantly seeing in the body of Christ, especially. Um, you need to know that, that there's a reason for all of it. It is spiritual. It's real. Um, no, let me just get some myths out of the way right now. It is not numerology and it is not new age. It is not spooky or weird or anything like that. I would have to do hours of teaching to give you the foundational uh, theology with all the numbers, but you need to know biblically speaking and prophetically speaking, all the numbers are based on what the Bible says, they're based on scripture, they're, they're what points us in a direction during <clears throat> times and seasons. It is not witchcraft. Um, yes, there's a form of that out there, but they are not being led by the Holy Ghost. They are not being led by that. Also, right off the, uh, the top, I will just tell you, do not do the angel numbers. That's not the same, okay? That's not the same. Don't go to websites and search through angel numbers. What is the angel, you know, whatever. No, okay? You listen to the Holy Ghost. And so when prophets are receiving info about the numbers or you're constantly seeing them, God is trying to give you a message. Yes, sometimes it is your guardian angel trying to get your attention. And I'm going to go into all that. In case you're wondering, if you have an issue with angels, you need to reread your Bible. That is not new that is not new age, that is not mystical, it's it's not witchcraft, it's biblical. All of us have angels assigned to us. Amen. That watch out for us throughout our life. And so, um some have harder jobs than others. Okay, um, we got to pray for our angels, you guys, because sometimes they got a hard job, okay, trying to keep us out of trouble, amen? So here's the thing. So I wanted to get those things out of the way. Um, you will hear people who are religious or don't hear the Holy Spirit, have no discernment, and are not led by the Holy Spirit, uh, put a bunch of junk out there on the internet, um, or wherever, that's like, oh, you know, I, I just stay away from that stuff because that's just that just gets too weird and, you know, uh, that's religion, you guys. Knock it off. Don't be religious. I'm telling you right now, we're coming into an accelerated time in the glory. This is why everyone is seeing so many numbers because this is not pre-2020. Everything has changed since 2020. We're in a, in a complete new era. It, there is no going back to normal. There is no church as usual. None of that. It's done, you guys. Those days are done. Um, so God is speaking more readily. Many are having dreams and visions that never did before. Many are having prophetic dreams you never knew you did. You're just now figuring it all out. It's because things are speeding up. The glory is becoming more because revival is coming on a level that has never been seen on the earth. But we're being prepared as the body. You guys have heard me say this already. We're being prepared as the body to be unshakable, to be the ones to bring in the harvest, to disciple the harvest, to know what to do with the harvest. Here's the thing. We have to have a plan. And it can't be religion. It has to be all Holy Ghost, you guys. And so God is moving and shaking, but he has to get Egypt out of the body of Christ first. I know none of you want to hear that, but it's just reality. So here's the thing. Back to the numbers. Don't just Google whatever. You need to go to legitimate ministries that talk about numbers. And you can look up their info. Troy Brewer has a whole lot on numbers. Um, Pour It Out Ministries has some stuff on numbers. Uh, there's several people that talk about numbers. Go to the real source. Oh, and when you do uh, in 
dream interpretation, only do Christian dream interpretation. Don't go to silly websites that could be witchcraft. You guys have to protect yourselves from all that junk, okay? Um, but I will tell you, there is a reason for the numbers. Now, I had someone ask, how are you, if you're going to be teaching on numbers, how is it, you said you're going to be releasing a word. How can, how are you releasing a word if you're just teaching on numbers? Because part of what I'm saying is only going to be led by the Holy Ghost as he leads me. I'm going to share it with you as he wants me to share it with you. That's a word. And some of what I'm going to share is based on a couple of the prophecies I've received, the scriptures that are connected to the prophecies, the dreams that are connected to the prophecies, which led to what certain numbers mean, okay? So, um, let's start with first, and you guys, I can't cover every single thing, but I'm going to give you an idea so that you know um, kind of what is going on in the spiritual realm. Um, all the 111, 111, 1111, okay? Um, first and foremost, I will tell you, when I'm seeing those, what I know that the Holy Spirit is speaking to me is wealth transfer, uh, miraculous provision, uh, everything that we need. Um, it, I mean, it can mean several things, but a, an awakening, fresh oil, um, fresh walk, you know, um, just new things that God is wanting to do, revival, transition, and provision and wealth transfer. What that means is he might not be saying straight up wealth transfer, but what he's saying is, um, your, my provision is upon you. Stop stressing. And as I take you through the numbers and I'm going to go back and give you some examples. Okay. So you understand why are you seeing them at certain times? What's happening in your life when you see them? And we're going to talk about that. Okay. So, but it could mean 30 different things because all of you are different. Okay. We're all different. We all have different situations. We're all at a different place in our walk. We're all doing different types of ministries or whatever. So, um, but so with the one, 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 the ones basically, besides what I just shared, um, how I know they're connected to the wealth transfer is because first I had a dream and in the dream, I watched a teenage girl go into the bathroom, step on a scale, and then I was getting a view out of her eyes down at the scale and it said 111. So I kept, I wrote the dream down and I was like, whoa, what's that about? So then a little while later, um, all night long, God woke me up with 5,400, 5,400, 5,400, like a banner all night long. My dreams are just prophetic, you guys. Usually they're not because of pizza. First of all, I don't eat pizza very rarely. And it's never like that. My dreams are just a part of my ministry gift and the prophecy times and seasons and everything. So, so I'm like, I keep track of everything because I know he's telling me something, even if in the moment I don't get it. So I wrote it down. And this was like a month later after the 111 dream, the, the weight 111 on a scale, okay? So then I'm like, okay, God, what are you trying to tell me? I had no clue it was connected to the 111 dream. So I'm just sitting there and I'm like, what is 5,400? So then I do what I normally do. I start looking through the Bible. I'm like, okay, where is 5,400 in the Bible? How is that number significant in the Bible? Where is it at? What's it alluding to? Um, what's it connected to? So I look it up and guess what? 5,400 is only found one place in the entire Bible, and it's Ezra 111. Boom. I'm like, whoa. So I go and I read all of Ezra 1 to just give myself a foundation of what it is that he's trying to show me. He said, remember the dream 111 on the scale? And I said, yeah. And he said, Ezra 111. So I read Ezra 111, and this is what Ezra 111 says. It says, in all, there were 5,400 articles of gold and silver. Sheshbazar brought all these along with the exiles when they came up from Babylon to Jerusalem. So if you go back and read the first verses, it's all about King Cyrus bringing the people out 
Nebuchadnezzar had taken all their stuff. The wealth had went to the wicked. They had stolen it all. And then now, moreover, King Cyrus brought out the articles belonging to the temple of the Lord, which Nebuchadnezzar had carried away from Jerusalem and placed in his temple of his God. So King Cyrus took part in getting the wealth back to where it belonged. All the articles were returned, all the silver and gold. Amen. And so I released a prophecy based on the dream, the word, and Ezra 111. And so that's when I knew God was letting me know 111 is connected to the wealth transfer. It's connected to provision. But it's not just regular provision, you guys. It's miraculous provision, okay? So that's the 111s. One, one, I'm going to move on because I don't need, this doesn't need to be an hour long, okay? Even though some of you are like, I like it. Go for an hour, okay? Um, so, you know, God's, you're going to take possession of the land. Uh, God's promises are true. Uh, it's a wake up for the, for the body of Christ. Provision is here. Trust me, okay? And so that's the ones. We're just going to kind of go with that. I'm going to move on to the twos, okay? Um, and so with the twos, first and foremost, I know for a fact that um, the twos are multiplication. There's a lot, lots of things people will say about the twos, but for me, I know that it has to do with multiplica multiplication. Sorry, you guys, I can't talk. Multipli okay, I'm not going to say that word again. Multiplying, okay? And open doors. We all know that. Okay, we all know it has to do with um, open doors, double doors, authority to decree God's word, um, all that good stuff. The key has been given. Okay, it's all been given to us. So here's the thing, but it's not just open doors. It's not just the keys to open the doors, the authority. It's, you know, the multiplying that God's going to do. So he's going to take whatever whatever you're doing, whatever you think you can, you can do and accomplish, and he's going to multiply it. And it can mean open doors. It can mean walking in authority, receiving your authority. But you need to understand, you don't get that without stuff happening first. You have to be created to be unshakable. Amen. And so 333, God keeps his promises. That's a part of 333. It's the Trinity times three, but a lot of people have different things that they think, you know, it means uh, fresh revelation, wisdom, strategy from heaven, um, uh, God speaking, make sure you're listening. But it also is connected to the God's promises are true. Um, whatever he has said, he will keep his word. Trust the word, have discernment, listen to the spirit. That is 333. And like I said, it can be a variety of situations, okay? But basically, uh, like a verse here, Jeremiah 33, 3, call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Um, and so the thing is, is it's about wisdom and knowledge. And so, for example, if you're, if, if you're, going through a situation and all of a sudden you're constantly seeing 333 all day, it probably means that God is either letting you know, um, I'm trying to share something with you. I have a fresh new revelation or I need you to see something. This little nugget of wisdom over here, I'm, I'm trying to get a message or a revelation across to you. Or it could mean, I will keep my promises. If you call out to me, I am always here. Don't stress about whatever that thing is. Don't dwell on it. Don't let it take up your headspace. Because if you call out to me, I'm the promise keeper. Amen? He's the promise keeper. Okay? Moving along, the fours. You guys, I love the fours. Okay? Lots of people have different things. I mean, I'm just saying a variety of different things. But I know what God has said to me. Okay? Um, open doors, creative miracles, opportunities. Um, uh, victory, all this stuff, okay? But I know for me, it also, not just for me, but this is biblical, it means set apart, chosen, 
called, called and anointed. So sometimes how that will look is um, maybe you're questioning your call. Maybe you're questioning um, God's hand is upon you. Maybe you're questioning uh, what the future is going to look like in a certain area of your life or ministry, if you do ministry. Um, and then all of a sudden, all day long, you're seeing 444. Or 44, 44, 44, 44, 444. 4, 4. It's because God's trying to remind you, you've been called and chosen. Don't question it. Don't question it. Don't question what I'm going to do with your life. Don't question it. You are called and a, you're a chosen people. And you are, you are called and anointed. Trust me. I have set you apart to be mine and to serve me. And it's a reminder to trust him. He's got you. And you are called. Amen. Okay. Um, five, five, five. Or the fives. Five is the number of grace. And so his grace is sufficient for you. And so three fives, typically to me, that's like triple grace. So it, it's like he's, he's letting you know um, whatever's happening or whatever's about to happen. My grace is sufficient for you to do it, to deal with it. Maybe a death is coming that you don't know about. Don't spaz out. Maybe something hard is coming. Or maybe you're currently in a situation that is hurtful and hard and you're broken. And you need to be reminded that his grace is sufficient for you. So all of a sudden, all day long, that day that you're kind of having these fears or whatever, or feeling the load of... Um, whatever's happening that's painful or hard or hurtful, he's reminding you, my grace is sufficient for you. Trust me. My grace is sufficient for you. And so it's, he, it's his way of, in a loving way, sometimes even through your angels that are assigned to you, reminding you. And this is why you'll feel the need to look over at the clock at 555. Or you'll feel the need to look at the calories on your treadmill when you're walking and it says five, 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 and it happens all day long. When you look at something, you didn't expect it. And all of a sudden you see five, five, five. It's because God is saying, I love you. You're my child. My grace is sufficient for you. Sometimes it's him preparing you for something that's coming. It's like he's depositing grace which is strength, you guys, not a cover-up. It's strength for whatever's about to go down. Or it's for what you're currently going through, and he just needs you to be reminded you're loved. His strength is enough for you. His grace is sufficient for you. Amen? And so some other ones um, uh, you might see is 12-12. I'm not going to go through every single one, that the, the pattern that I've seen or what God shows me constantly, but I'm gonna, just going to kind of give you a basis here, okay? 12 is the number of government. So 1212 would mean like divine order, apostolic. Um, he's putting things in order. There's apostolic alignment happening, um, which would be uh, the fivefold ministries, okay? Um, then you move on and, and you have the, the numbers in order, okay? So like here's an example. I am seeing every hour on the hour, you guys, like right now, it's 144 on my clock. You guys, I'm not joking. I can't make this stuff up. From the morning until night, if it's nine in the morning, I, it'll be not, I'll see, I'll, God, something will happen and I'll get a message. It's literally all day long. 9 11, 9.22, 9.33, 9.44, 9.55. 10.11, 10.22, 10.33. 1044, 1055. It's been happening to me. I'm not joking. I can't make this stuff up, you guys. All day, every day, every hour, there will be a reason for me to look at something digital for me to keep seeing the sequence. It's always in order. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And so you have to understand that's being done on purpose. There, that's not a mistake. That's not by chance. For real, you guys, it is not. And so what that means is 
there's it's like a synchronicity happening. Um, he's synchronizing things in the spirit, um, not just in your life, but like for me, it, if you're not a times and seasons prophet, then it probably is just for you or maybe your family. But for me, I'm times and seasons prophecy. So it's for the world. It's for America. It's for the season that we're about to come into. Things are coming into alignment for the next level he's about to do. And so for me, what he spoke to me was the reason I'm seeing that is he is lining everything up for my call and my ministry. I'm there's every ministry grows like you grow and then you go to another level and then you grow and then you go to another level. You expand. Well, we're always in expansion, but we're definitely in the cusp of another level right now, getting ready to do that. And so God's been preparing us um, with more work, more cleansing, more learning to be unshakable. Amen. And so, but through it, he's constantly reminding me all day long. I'm, a, I'm lining things up. There's alignment in heaven happening. I, I'm, I'm watching out for you. You don't have to wonder about anything. You don't have to wonder about what's next. You don't have to wonder about when this thing is going to take place. I'm lining it all up for you. I'm constantly working because I have a plan for your call and your ministry and you guys are going to go do it. And so um, that's his, his loving way of reminding me constantly that he's working and he's lining up everything for our particular call. But at the same time, he's also lining things up spiritually for everything that's coming and, and the order to how it has to happen for the process of the wealth transfer over time, for the process of his body being ready, for the process of getting the harvest ready to receive him. There's a lot that has to happen, but it's going to happen quickly because he ain't messing around because we really are in the end times, but it isn't like the end times that they said 500 years ago. No, this is legit. The return of Christ is at hand for real. Amen. It's great to be alive right now. I'm honored to be alive right now. I'm honored to be alive. So just so you know, um, those are basically the main numbers that I was going to talk about. And you guys, okay, so let me, I'll talk about a couple more. The sevens. Seven is the number of perfection. That's what it means biblically. Okay. The number of perfection. So it can mean fullness, restoration, wholeness. Um, God will complete what he has promised. Okay. Um, there's also 888. I have seen 888 a lot. Um, new beginning. Which means a new beginning. He's preparing me for a new beginning of some kind. That means that there's a, this next level is going to bring... Uh, whole new things that, that I'll probably be doing in ministry that I'll probably, I, I don't know, just new things, uh, a new beginning of different things. And so um, that's why you'd be seeing 888. God's letting you know you're, you're, you're on the cusp or about to break through to new beginnings. And you guys, it is not easy. It is not easy. To go to the next level. It is work in the spirit. And sometimes God has to take us through some painful stuff. Amen. Um, but here's the thing. When he's showing you the numbers, what I want you to start doing is pay attention to when. When during the day. What are you thinking about when you see 444? What are you thinking about? Are you worried about money? Are you worried about finances? And then all of a sudden... All that whole day you see 111 or 1111. That's God's lovingly loving way in the spirit of reminding you, my provision is here. I'm the provider. Not just the fact that the wealth transfer is coming. That's not our thing we hang our hat on. But it's him letting you know, I got you. Don't stress. You're covered. You're covered. I keep my promises and provision is coming. What you need to be prepared is coming. He has it all for you. If you're obedient and truly following him and living that life before him, you will be covered. Just like the disciples were covered. Amen. 
And so like if you're seeing the twos all the time, think about any, any of these numbers I've talked about. Think about what are you thinking about when you see it? What song are you listening to? What show are you watching or what word are you listening to or sermon? What conversations are you having with someone? And then boom, you see 555. Stop and think. Honor God by stopping and acknowledging that he's ministering to you. He's speaking to you. He's trying to bless you in some way. And stop and go, okay, give him the time of day and say to yourself, okay, what was I just talking about? What was I just thinking about? And then usually the numbers are in a response message to what you're currently thinking about, dwelling on, worrying about, because none of us worry. You know what I'm saying? And so then you'll start piecing together the messages that he has for you. And so that like there's been times where there's certain things going on in my life and I might think about it or I don't really ask a lot of like, oh no, God, what was me questions? I don't do that. Um, that's not even a thing. Um, but he knows I might think about something in my heart, something I didn't really ask him, but he heard it. And so all day long, I'll see 444. And he'll say, you've been set apart. You've been chosen. Now go do it. Don't question. Don't worry about what nobody says. Don't let nothing get into your head that doesn't belong there. Only let this be in your head. You're called and chosen. You've been set apart. Now go do it. I'll give you everything you need to do it. Amen. And so... I hope this video really helped you guys and I did not want to make it an hour long even though I know some of you guys would have thought that's probably amazing. But those websites I gave you, Troy Brewer is really good um, with the numbers. He gives you so many biblical examples um, and then he also teaches you on how they connect in the Bible. You guys, it's great stuff and it's all biblical. So um, you don't need to be just going on, like I've had some of you get a hold of me, you're like, I've been seeing that for five years. Okay, people, there's a reason. Get the message. And so, usually God will shift. So like, um, six or seven months ago, I wasn't seeing the synchronized, I wasn't seeing the 11, 22, 33, 44, 55. That just started like six months ago. Before that, I was seeing the 444, the 111, the 1111, the three twos, and, and then it shifted to the alignment messages coming from him. Um, and so the thing is, is there's reasons why you're seeing them, and it's not witchcraft, it's not new age. Get off of Google looking, some of the stuff is witchcraft, and then you have other people who are just plain religious. They don't follow the Holy Spirit. They don't listen to the Holy Spirit. And they're clueless. And um, we love them, but they don't understand the spiritual realm. When you don't have the Holy Spirit, you don't fully understand it. And so you're not expected to. Um, so just be really careful, you guys. And don't listen to everything you hear. Don't read everything you see. Don't be Lulu out there, okay? Pay attention Get the information from legitimate ministries. Don't search for 300 different YouTube people. I know I'm on YouTube. But the thing is, don't, don't do that. Because you're going to get yourself all confused. You're going to get all messed up. You have to make a decision foundationally what you believe. And um, the Holy Ghost 100% has to be a part of your foundation. And then you go with it. And you don't listen to a hundred other things because you're going to get witchcraft. You're going to get religion. You're going to get pride and arrogance. Be very careful. Be very careful. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope that this blessed you. Now, start paying attention. And pay attention to numbers in dreams. So let me just throw this out there. If you, like, let's say you, you have the Lord uh, says... 55, 
over and over in a dream to you, and you've had like three dreams about 55, what I would do is get in, I would look at the Bible, I would read the 55th page of your Bible, I would read the 55th chapter, any the first book that has 55 chapters, I would read that, then I would just start breaking, breaking that stuff down, then I would do 55 days out, 55 weeks, 55 months, 55 years, I write it all down, I notate it, I see what God could be saying, what kind of pattern is there, uh, does it line up with any other prophetic words I've received? Okay, so this is the whole thing that I do. So here's an example of how important this is. Before I ever re received my first prophecy over Florida, I had had a dream, just the number 54, over and over. So then I did everything I would normally do. Then I counted out 54 days, 54 weeks, 54 months, 54 years, okay? Now, 54 days to the day that I had that dream, I received my first prophecy for Florida. Then, 54 months or 54 weeks from that day, God had called me to go back to Florida and do a prophetic summit. At that point, we hadn't done any events in Florida. I had been there. I had spoke at all these different conferences. I'd been there four or five times, but they were never our event. I was invited to come in and speak. But the Lord told me to do a prophetic event on the 54th week since I received my first prophecy on the 54th day. So you see what I'm saying? There's things that God's doing, and he's doing it on purpose. Numbers do matter, and they are biblical. God is all about numbers. Read the Bible. I love you guys. You're amazing. I will talk to you later. Oh, reminders. We will be in Alaska, Anchorage. We want to see you there at a loft hotel ballroom. Amen. We will have our new hats. Um, we have white ones also. And we will, so we will have some merchandise there you can buy on hand. Um, other things, get your boat ready e-course online, a spiritmoveministry.co. Um, there's a lot of things happening and brewing, you guys. We're going to be in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, the 16th and 17th of September to do a Walking in the Resurrection revival in Oklahoma. And so we want to see you there. It's a Friday night and a Saturday, the 16th and the 17th of September. Um, not sure what's all up for October yet. Um, in November, I will be back in Florida speaking at a citywide crusade. Maybe I'll see you there. I don't know. Um, also we're in the works for Costa Rica next year and discussions about Kenya and, uh, um, I will be speaking on a giant jumbotron screen live to a crusade in Pakistan on September 13th. Um, I'm excited to do that from the CTN, um, network, uh, basically filming area filming space in Houston. And so, um, and then after that, I will be going to Pakistan in person. So just a lot of exciting things happening. I love you guys. Be blessed. Pay attention. God speaking. Amen and amen.